Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to review the new filter styles that we've added to dashboard filter bar. As you can see on my screen, radio buttons and check boxes are new filter styles that we've added to the product. It provides a nice filtering experience for the consumer users. Let's uh, go into the edit mode and review the experience. So I'm going to start off with a new canvas uh, that I'm working on currently. And let's uh, drop in a few filter columns into the control of the dashboard filter bar. So I'm going to add order priority, product category, uh, ship mode, and maybe city. And let's go into the properties of the dashboard filter bar. Let's expand on the filter column properties and open up the filter type property. A new filter type that we have added is called inline list, uh, which by default renders the filter values as a checkbox and this can be changed to a radio button by turning off the multi-select property from on to off so let's go ahead and do that for a few of these filter columns for product category i'm going to change it to inline list and for ship mode i'll make it uh, an inline list and also multi-select to be turned on so it would be a radio button and for city uh, I'm going to change it to inline list and notice that for city filter column there is a an alert message that's displayed on the UI that only 50 values are shown uh, by design inline list filters are optimized to display the first 50 values and if you have a filter column that's more than 50 values our recommendation is to use a different filter style like list box or list filter the properties of uh, the new filter style is exactly the same as the properties for other filter types starting with the label label can be customized to either auto or provide a custom name multi-select property can be turned on or off the null and exclude selection are properties that we have on existing filter styles that's been added to the inline list as well default value and selections required limit by values are also existing properties that we have added to this filter style Visible values is a new property that applies only to inline list. For example, on the city filter column, I can set the visible values to fit, which is by default. And it computes the available real estate of the filter bar and displays the optimal number of filter values. But I can choose to define a custom visible value. Let's say that I want to display the first five values and uh, the rest of the 45 values of the city filter column will be uh, a scroll experience for the consumer user and we've also added the parameter binding experience for both the selection and also the exclusion list for inline list filter as well the exclusion list parameter binding is a new feature that we've added to the product that allows the user to now bind the parameter to the exclude mode of each filter types that way any values that are part of the exclusion list can be passed on to other filter columns across the workbook in different canvases that is bound to the same parameter. Thank you for watching this video.